Although the summer months usually bring the most beautiful weather of the year to New England, we often see afternoon thunderstorms develop. Many of those storms, if not all, contain lightning. And lightning is always dangerous, no matter the storm, even if it isn't severe. For that reason, with so many people outdoors, we're always watching for those thunderstorms and where lightning may strike next. Unlike hail, destructive winds, and tornadoes, lightning accompanies almost every thunderstorm. The frequency with which lightning occurs makes it the number two severe weather killer behind only flash flooding. Lightning is especially dangerous when people are caught outside during storms. Each year, an average of 400 people are struck by lightning in the United States. Some of the victims will have little adverse effects because of the strike. Others will face severe neurological damage, and about 60 will die. That's more deaths, on average, than tornadoes or hurricanes cause in a given year. Perhaps no one understands the seriousness of lightning better than golfers. For that reason, many courses, including Black Rock Country Club in Hingham, install costly lightning detection systems used to warn golfers of approaching storminess. Jackie Boudreaux, Black Rock's assistant superintendent, explains that their system has been in use since 2002 and continues to work well today. At the center of the system is an ESID, or Electrical Storm Identification Device. This device sits on the maintenance building's roof and is constantly scanning the sky for electrical and optical impulses. Its reach is 30 miles, and as soon as lightning is detected, a signal goes off inside the maintenance building. It's not until the storm is 10 miles away that the course's eight course alert horns are activated. At that time, golfers are expected to head inside until the storm passes, and all clear is automatically given once the ESID determines the lightning is at least 10 miles away. Our golfers are very good about following what the horns are saying, so that's, that's been very good. The cooperation of the golfers in the system itself has prevented any human injury due to lightning at Blackrock. However, the course's irrigation system has been struck several times. In 2004, a strike fried at least 75% of the system, costing the club tens of thousands of dollars. 2004, wow. <laughs> we had two back-to-back -back storms. I say back-to-back, -back, but they were t actually two weeks apart. You could see the lightning traces on the turf was incredible. Never seen anything like it before. We had um, major damage um, in the tens of thousands of dollars wow. damage. Since those devastating strikes in 2004, BlackRock has installed AC controllers which shut down the electricity flow to its irrigation system during lightning storms. And so far, this seems to have helped in preventing damage from strikes. Still, Jackie doesn't expect a break from the lightning soon. In fact, she says Black Rock sees more strikes than any other course she has worked at, including those in Florida. Part of it is um, we're a high point in Hingham, and there's no, we don't have any scientific basis for this, but um, there's a lot of iron ore in the ledge on the golf course. And we don't know if maybe that causes some of it. What's troubling about lightning and golf, however, is that golf courses are not mandated to have such a detection system. Instead, insurance companies are usually the ones nagging courses to install them. Smaller courses with smaller budgets are usually the ones that rely on manual lightning detection and warning procedures. That was the case at South Shore Country Club, Hingham's publicly owned course, until four years ago when it decided to install lightning detectors to beef up the safety of its patrons. Like Blackrock, South Shore is no stranger to lightning strikes. In 2008, a strike damaged its irrigation system, costing tens of thousands of dollars. And way back in the 1950s, long before lightning detection, a man was struck and killed by lightning on the course. While these detectors are helpful in warning of storms, it's still up to each individual to protect themselves from lightning. If you're outdoors during lightning, head inside immediately and stay there until 30 minutes after you hear the last roll of thunder. If you're stuck outside, avoid elevated open areas and stay as low to the ground as possible. And it's important to remember the dangers of lightning stretch far beyond the golf course, so no matter where you are outdoors during a thunderstorm, go inside if at all possible. And remember all those safety tips we just mentioned. Reporting in Hingham for HinghamWeather.com, I'm Michael Page.